Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Well, the band is out on the field! Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one that should. Yeah, Hollywood, well, kiss me, kiss me good. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than So today we're going to review the Brian Helligan directed great movie. 42. The story, of course, about the famous baseball player Jackie Robinson, played beautifully by Chadwick Boseman, a very unknown yet somewhat known actor. But what can I say about this movie? In a year that has really gotten off to a very slow start, with a summer that's about to explode, I would have to say next to Zero Dark Thirty that this was definitely one of the best movies that I have seen this year, and it's very much Oscar caliber. The story, of course, is one that a lot of us know, especially if we're baseball fans. It was a great representation of the story of this young man who broke the color barrier in American baseball and really showed the world that the African-American populace could be just as good as the white boys. <laughs> Chadwick Boseman did a great job, but I'll tell you one thing. Harrison Ford was the one that really got me by surprise. I know him as Han Solo or Indiana Jones, but Harrison Ford playing Brand Tricky was a real surprise. He really wasn't a very powerful character. He wasn't so booming and in-your-face. He was very mellow and laid back, but he gave you a very strong presence, and his performance was great. The rest of the cast was fantastic, featuring the other Brooklyn Dodgers. I really liked John C. McGinley as the voice of the Brooklyn Dodgers, Red Barber. He really, really surprised me. I didn't even know he was in the movie. Also, Christopher Maloney was in the movie. I didn't know he was even in it. Lucas Black, who played Pee Wee Reese. The other actor that I really had no idea was in the movie was Alan Tudyk, who plays... Ben Chapman. Alan Tudyk is someone who I have known in so many movies, and I love him. He's, he's Steve the Pirate in Dodgeball. So, he's a great character actor, and him playing as the manager of the Philadelphia Phillies, a very well-known name in baseball, great job. Nicole Beher, who played Rachel Robinson, I don't know how her last name is pronounced, but she did a great job, and I really think that we're going to see her a lot more in movies to come. I think the same can be said about Chadwick Boseman as well. The only thing that could be a little bit negative about the movie is that it was pretty much a movie of peaks and valleys. Like, it had some really strong moments, and it also had some really slow moments, and I think that it was just a little off balance as far as trying to do that, and I think because of the highs and lows so often, it just kind of made the movie a little flat from an acting and a character development standpoint. Not so much, but just slightly, but I still can't deny the fact that this was a great movie. So, this movie is great. If you want to see a real piece of American history and a great sports movie, I highly recommend that you see 42. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to give it three and a half out of four. So that's it, everybody. And the question that I want to leave with you today is, what major sport event, past or present, do you think is due for a movie? I mean, I'm glad to know that we finally got a great modern movie about Jackie Robinson, and I know that we have another great movie in Miracle, but I know that there's still so many sporting events that really need to be brought to cinema. I am the Law Gnome, and remember that actions speak louder than words.